Wow, look at that. Two videos in a week. What a miracle. Anyway, what's up, guys? Dave here, back with a brand new video on the channel. And today we're going to be... This is more of a rant video than anything else. This came on... This became a thing... Um, uh, um, I'm doing way too much voice to text lately, so I'm catching myself saying, like, comma and period when I'm having actual conversations. But anyway, that's not the subject of this video. The subject of this video came about because of me selling a phone to somebody online. And they are now pointing the finger at me, saying that I lied to them, left a negative review. And have even admitted themselves that they don't have the tech knowledge and they're just believing what they read on Google. I mean, straight up, if I could show you the actual messages, I would. The buyer bought, brought a uh, Reddit link into the conversation. It was like, look, this is the facts. And I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> That's a Reddit link from the same website where there's idiots talking about how flat the earth is and you can't convince them otherwise. Or you used to find beheading videos from Osama bin Laden. This video just got demonetized. Anyway, we're going to talk about the essential phone today and just general good charging habits overall. So I'll start at the beginning. I'm going to give the story at least of how this all began and how it got to the point that it is now. Not going to use names. Going to do my best to just keep things as anonymous for this person as possible very nice person and i can understand the frustrations when you had just bought a phone but this phone came out january of 2018 as you can see right here this is the essential phone so andy rubin uh creator of the essential phone and I think I was told also one of the creators of the Android operating system. Not 100% sure on that one, if that's the truth or not, but the essential phone. Awesome device. I love this thing. I have a few of them. My favorite phone, honestly, the coolest history of a device. I have one of every color except for... I think there was one color they didn't actually release. Uh, I have this one, this one, this one, and I've never seen this one. So I don't think they released it, but I'm not sure. So this all started when the buyer messaged me and said, hey, this device doesn't have Google Apps on it. And what I realized is the Google apps were installed on the device incorrectly. The device came to us already running Lineage OS, and it had the Lineage custom recovery on it, which is all USB-based. You can't actually like install from internal memory or things like that. It's all USB-based, so all ADB sideload for everything. Buyer didn't recognize the uh, recovery, thought it was Clockwork Recovery Mod, which hasn't been a thing since, like, Android 4. You know, whatever. Um, and admitted that he's been out of the game for a very long time, and that's why he was getting this phone, was to relearn. So, you know, kindly, I printed a return label, provided one to the buyer and had the buyer send it back i properly installed gaps properly installed the rom and realized that when he was saying he th thought he turned it into a brick i was trying to keep this anonymous and now i'm saying he luckily i don't know the buyer's name so i can't accidentally spill that not that i think anybody would know when we got the device back i realized that the only reason it, uh, the only reason, my cat's doing weird things. 
The only reason he wasn't able to actually, I think, communicate with the phone through his computer via ADB sideload and recovery is because it wasn't charged. It came to us with a 100% dead battery. So I charged it overnight. Did the ROM install the next day, uh, CR Droid specifically, because that's the one I recommend doing. And put uh, the Google Apps on it properly as system apps so they wouldn't erase when you do a uh, factory reset. And sent the phone back. Everything was fine. I noticed a little damage to the SIM card port, but nothing came of that. That wasn't a big deal. Uh, probably accidentally broke when trying to put a SIM card in it. It happens, whatever. So I sent it back, don't hear from the guy for about two weeks. And then I get a message one day, and it states that he was charging the phone. And it just shut off, and the LED at the top of the phone was blinking. So there's a little LED up here that's like a, an identification LED. Or identification, a uh, notification LED, or hey, it's charging LED, or hey, there's a problem LED. And it would give little blink clip, uh, codes, which is something a lot of people don't know it does. It only does that, though, if there's really a problem. So I asked, how are you charging the phone? And you might see Nintendo Switch up here. You might see Essential Phone charging up here. That's where the other stuff starts. So I asked, how are you charging it? And he said with a Nintendo Switch charger. I've done that. Um, girlfriend's done it. But the difference between an essential phone and my OnePlus uh, Nord, which let me pull up the charging specs for my OnePlus Nord. OnePlus. Actually, I'll do my girlfriend's phone. So a OnePlus can do a 20 watt fast charging, is what it looks like. Um, what's the warp charger do? What's the warp charger's output? I wanna know specs here, specs, specs, specs. Uh, output is five volt two amp or five volt six amp. Holy crap. So that tells you what these phones can handle it doesn't say wattage i wish it did uh let me do the one plus word one plus nord and 10. that's the phone i have uh charging Uh, charging, where, oh my, God. does it not say input battery 4300 warp charger 30T? So, whatever. Uh, actually, you know what I can probably do is one plus warp charger specs. It probably isn't going to see, say, the wattage, but let me explain to you guys watts volts and amps so an essential phone will do five volts three amps or nine volts three amps but at 15 watts or 27 watts 27 watts being the peak it can handle 15 watts um or basically just keeping it a keeping it at a steady level i do not have an actual essential phone provided charger in front of me. I do have one at work. So if there's any difference between what this says and what the charger says on it tomorrow when I get to work, I will put it in the, uh, I'll put it at the top comment. But if you don't see a top comment about it, it means this was right. So as you can see, 15 watts and 27 watts. This doesn't mean you need to use a three amp charger. Honestly, I would recommend using a 2.4 or a 2.0. That's going to be plenty for an essential phone. What kills um, charging ICs, which is a the integrated circuit inside of a phone that controls how much power the phone pulls from the charger provided that's plugged into the thing to basically regulate charging the battery so you don't just turn it into a bomb, that's the charging IC. 
Well, this guy thought that was built into the charger and got all mad about that. And I've really realized that I really need to speak. And I don't mean this insultingly. I'm just, it's the only way I can think to explain it. I really need to learn to speak idiot compared to myself. So I understand charging IC. I understand integrated circuits. I understand how a charger works. I understand watts, volts, and amps. I know how to read uh, resistors and what the color bands mean for the different wattages and stuff like that or whatever. Probably just said it wrong, but I'm just talking right now. So an essential phone takes 15 watts or 27 at max. Watts can kill a charging IC. So can amps, but three amps, it should be fine. Well, the Nintendo Switch provides too much power for a phone that's from 2018. 39 watts at 15 volts, 2.6 amps. Not a big deal, the 2.6 amps, but 15 volts and 39 watts? And 27 watts, 9 volts. You see the problem here. So a phone from 2018, depending on how the previous owner was charging it and apparently didn't take care of the device. They really destroyed the lifespan of the charging circuit on this phone, apparently, because he said that overnight the phone turned off, the little LED was blinking, and it wouldn't turn back on. My thought is something in that integrated circuit is destroyed or on its way out because too much power has been going through it for too long and it's just destroying the circuit whatever's in that circuit it's destroying the circuit i see it all the time with razor phone twos i have a drawer of razor phone twos at work there's six or seven of them in that drawer they all need charge ports because something on the charge port goes bad and i have not yet been able to pinpoint it Something on the charge port goes bad on its little circuit thing. And when you plug in a charger that's over a certain amperage, it causes a boot loop. And that's because something in that circuit is broken. Something in that circuit has gone bad or is going bad. Some phones you can get away with doing like a 2 amp charge or a 1.5 amp charge. Some of them you cannot. Some of them you really can't. So, I feed this information to the buyer politely, say, hey, this is probably what happened. The charging IC inside the phone isn't designed to take 39 watts at 15 volts. So, it probably is on its way out. It's not something that I can fix because the LCDs are far too fragile and going into that phone through the LCD will probably destroy it. And I don't have spare screens for these because nobody makes them, as far as I'm aware. And if I don't have to replace the LCD, I'm not going to. I also know there's already damage to the phone because of seeing the damage to the SIM card tray. So I get a polite response back being like, is there any way we can exchange the phone for another one? And this is where I will admit maybe it was a little bit on me for not responding quick enough to just even say, hey, I will respond to you as soon as I can. I have some things going on over the weekend, and it makes it very difficult for me to respond. I didn't do that, and I probably should have. So, you know, lesson learned, whatever. I can't, you know, I'm not glued to my phone all the time. So I get the message where he's, you know, Correctly upset, but still being polite. And then four or five hours later, I get a new response. Hey, I did my research and sent me a Reddit link or something like that. And I don't see anything about a charging IC in the charger. And I don't see, you know, three amps is enough to charge this thing. I don't see any problems there. You're giving me false information. You haven't given me anything to back up your claims. I'm sitting here like, oh my god, I'm going to go off on this guy. And I finally did. I will straight up admit, I finally did. But not responding anymore. Doesn't matter. I don't really care what happens to our Swappa account. Because Swappa is... I'll make a video reviewing Swappa eventually. 
But as of right now, I want to let my mind cool off from this one experience. So, I respond, I think the next day. I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. I had this with my family yesterday. I have something with my girlfriend's family today. I cannot respond until tomorrow morning. But I see you claiming false information on your review of our account of us, of me, because I'm the only one who does anything with this website. I did not give you false information. And then I reiterated the information that I gave. And I got a simple response of whatever, I'm done with this. Goodbye. I'm not going to deal with it. So, I do finally respond and do like a three post response because Pop only allows a thousand characters per type out. So people don't just type books, which I think is actually really stupid for websites to do. I can understand doing text limits for name boxes and emails and phone numbers and things like that that you know there's a maximum length to. But if you're trying to give information to somebody and you need to do it in a gigantic paragraph that's borderline an essay, having a thousand character limit and just making me have to refresh the page and start a new post once I hit that limit is really stupid. So I make two or three posts and I say, look, you've put false information in your review about us. I will be emailing Swappa about it. I did not give you any false information. You sent me links to Reddit. You sent me links to some Google articles. You sent me links that can be easily disproved by me simply taking pictures of the chargers. I did not give you any false information. You have admitted yourself to not having much tech knowledge. So why would you think I would lie to you? I'm not here to lie to you. I'm here to help you, but you're not being polite anymore, so neither am I. And that's basically where it ended. So let's, let's talk good charging habits. Don't plug your phone or your tablet into your USB-C laptop charger. Just because your phone can take USB-C and it says it can take 3 amps, that laptop charger is putting out probably 65 freaking watts. You're going to destroy your phone in a matter of months. Don't lie. Don't do it. Point number two. Check what the fast charging wattage amperage and volts are before deciding to use something like a nintendo switch charger even my oneplus phones i probably shouldn't use a nintendo switch charger on and yes the charging i see uh, is going to handle it all right in the sense of filtering out the overabundance of power because there's not that much of a difference but when it comes to the essential phone 39 watts and 15 volts that's six more volts and like almost that's 12 more watts that's way too much power for that charging ic to handle because they were not made for that back in 2018 <clears throat> it's not a samsung galaxy it doesn't have the best of the best component in it i mean even samsung galaxy phones don't have the best of the best in it really think there's actually a difference between a Galaxy S9 and, a, and a, a, uh, an Essential phone? Almost the same processor. I bet you it's very similar RAM from the same manufacturers. And a lot of the circuits and wiring and stuff like that is going to be the same. You're basically paying for name brand. Go take apart a Toshiba laptop, a Lenovo laptop, an HP laptop, and a Dell laptop. The RAM chips are probably the same. The CPU is probably the same. If they're all identical spec laptops, almost everything on the inside of that computer is going to be the same. The only thing you're paying for is the difference of brand name. 
That's why it used to be cheaper to build your own computer. Because you were paying for the brand name and the fact they were building it for you. Not cheaper anymore because graphics cards are stupid. But I digress. Always check what your phone can handle or what your tablet can handle or what your laptop can handle. Don't use a random plug you found in a box. Like every person basically has that box of somewhere in their house. Oh, this is all the chargers that I don't exactly know what they go to. Let me just try this. Don't do that. At least compare the plug to whatever's on the bottom of the unit. I see it all the time. I work in a repair shop. People destroy their chargers. This is a great phone. It's not meant for everybody. And it's starting to show its age. I wish there would have been an essential phone too. I really want the 3D camera. If any of my fans out there have that 3D camera, let me know. I really do want one. I know I can get one off eBay or something like that. Just whatever. I really want one of these cameras. I've yet to get one. They had other accessories they were going to come out with. This dock never released. I wish it would have. They also uh, they were going to have something that was like a HomePod. They never released that either. This thing, this home base thing, they never released that either because the company went. But if there's anything I've learned, it's that people on the internet will believe anything from anywhere, regardless of if you're polite to them or not. If you come to me politely asking for help, most of the time I'll reply to you politely. <laughs> I was about to say, I'll reply to you politely and nicely. No, there's plenty of times when I just don't. <laughs> but it's it's a crazy world. It's crazy what people will bring themselves to believe and from where, especially when it comes to electronics. I didn't feed this guy any false information. I promise you I didn't. I don't know why he chose to think that I did. Maybe it's a situation of, hey, I need someone to blame. I'm just seeing if there's any... What? Wait, what is Essential.com now? Hold up, we're taking a little trip on our favorite rocket ship. What is this? Let me just copy that. It's all forwarding. Let's see what they forward to. Anyway, I'm going to play with this and see what I find because... Zip codes? That's not good. That's weird. I wonder what this used to be. What in the world is this link? Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, this is long enough. It's 23 minutes. Long story short, charge your shit correctly. <laughs>